Welcome to another Toy Master Review. Today we'll be reviewing Marvel Legends Ghost Rider, so stay tuned. First we'll be taking a look at the packaging. It has some cool artwork of Ghost Rider on the top and the Marvel Universe logo and the Marvel Legends. And on the back, it's on the... There's a bigger image on the back of the artwork and it just tells you that you, the other figures you could get and that's it with the packaging. The Ghost Rider that I got is the blue version. There is a red version but I like this blue one better. As you could see he has chains all over his body and spikes on his shoulders and his forearms and legs and he has a coat and the face sculpt is really cool it has a really cool Ghost Rider look to it. And what I really like about his chest piece is that you could see the three circles on the chest have blue on them. So it looks like the reflection of the fire. So that's cool. The articulation for Ghost Rider is his head goes up and down and goes all the way around. The arms go that much and uh, they go that much back and they go out. The biceps go all the way around. The elbows go up and down and the wrists go all the way around. The Chest goes up and down. It goes all the way around. The legs go up, out, and they can go all the way around. The knees can go back, and the foot can go up and down. What I really like about this figure is it has a lot of detail, and... Um, like if it was like a real person, you could see on the back of the jacket that it has wrinkles, like if it was a real jacket. And he has a lot of muscles, you could see on his arms and legs. And he came with the arms for Terax, as you could see on the back of the packaging. And I really like how the hands are positioned, so it looks like he's he can choke someone, and this one, he can punch someone or something and the boots and the knee pads are really cool they are silver with spikes and that's it for Ghost Rider thank you for watching a Toy Master review so until next time